Hey everyone, how you doing? I'm Kiv, and today, I think I figured out how exactly Cortana is going to be returning in Halo Infinite. I think I've managed to kind of piece it together, and it's based off of the new reveal and the trailers that we've seen uh, from the actual July 23rd event. So, hopefully, this all kind of pans out. Hear me out on this, and I think it might just be worthwhile, because we know that 343 likes to kind of sneak in these kind of hidden meanings and stuff like that into their other trailers. I mean, we saw that in the 2019 reveal when they had Game Pass codes hidden in the boot up sequence for the Chief's HUD. So that was stuff that I didn't even register on and then people slowed it down frame by frame and read all of those codes and I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> so there obviously have been secret details in the past and I think I found one of them. So when I wrote out exactly what was said and I thought about it, it kind of made a little bit of sense except for one sentence. So in the original startup point where there is the Mjolnir armor being made, made uh, and it's like Cortana's voice talking about you know where exactly the importance of it all lies uh, about you know the armor being just the armor it's more about the person inside and stuff like that but there was just one sentence that stuck out to me which was liquid crystal cannot rise on its own because every other sentence is really straightforward you know the meaning but like I don't know about you guys, but like scientifically, I had no freaking idea what liquid crystal was. So I actually decided to look it up and I found something pretty interesting. So I did some research and the absolute legend that Wikipedia is said it's actually very simple. <laughs> uh, it's just an in-between of liquid and uh, it's actually got crystalline molecules. What's interesting about this is what it goes into later. It actually says that uh, the actual properties depend on uh, like the domains where the liquid crystal molecules are ordered in different directions. But within a domain, the molecules are well ordered. So, the word domain, maybe that sounds a bit familiar to some people who are big Halo fans. The domain is actually the forerunner, like, library of all of their knowledge, and basically, it was what they used for everything. Like, without the domain, the forerunners were about as useful as a screen door on a submarine. You know, it was like, it was everything to them. And it was actually created by the precursors who came before the forerunners, I believe. So, they actually could see into the fourth dimension and shit, and they could actually just organically connect to this library like if they didn't know something the precursor just, would just be like all right let me just research it in my brain and then he'd just be like yeah all right no worries i know it so the forerunners couldn't do that but they ended up actually creating terminals that they could access it through and humanity we can't do that as well but through cortana she was able to access a forerunner terminal and in halo 4 she actually put herself out into the domain i believe but she also fractured herself out into different kind of versions, I guess, like a whole crap ton. Um, so it was kind of like a psychedelic drug because you just saw like a crap ton of Cortanas come out at once. Now, the thing that I wanted to kind of theorize about this, and this is where it all kind of gets a bit like, you know, oh, it's a bit of a far-fetched theory. But basically, my theory is, is that... Uh, the Cortana that we saw in Halo 5 Guardians is one where the, basically, you know, the Cortana is ordered differently. So there's still a stabilized version of Cortana that exists in the Forerunner domain. Because old mate Wikipedia says, if it's in the domain, it's well ordered and it makes sense. But if it's out of the domain, depending on how the molecules align, the properties will be different. So maybe, Halo 5 Guardians, things was just ordered very badly, and Cortana ended up being batshit crazy, because a couple of ones ended up being zeros. So I, I, I don't know, that's, that's what I reckon. <laughs> And that's what we are going to be kind of, you know, half going for in Halo Infinite. We're going to be trying to achieve uh, and get a stabilized version of Cortana where she isn't batshit crazy. And the actual bad Cortana will stay as a villain, I think, in the background or just be kind of sorted out at the beginning when there's that big war that humanity loses. And so they end up taking down batshit crazy Cortana, but then they're just like left absolutely helpless because the banished just kind of come in and just swoop in and just decimate the infinity. Uh, that's kind of what I think could happen. I will talk about bad Cortana in the next video because I'm not done with her just yet. I think she may still have a little bit of relevance to the story. But uh, it's a little bit of a far-fetched theory and it's all just based off of one sentence. So this is just my own sort of personal thoughts about it because it just kind of stood out to me and I thought I'd do some research into it and some things kind of lined up but I feel as if it's just either a really big coincidence or maybe there is something there. <laughs> so let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. I think that there is a stabilized version of Cortana in the domain and that's how we're going to get her back. 
because you can't have a reboot of the Halo series when you don't actually have Cortana. She has to be in this game and it's going to be echoing Combat Evolved and throughout that game she was there with you every step of the way. So I think that could be a serious possibility but let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. And that's just about it from me. I've been Kiv and I'll see you all on the next one.